everyone, Jeff again, Elite Sports Shooting. Today what we're going to do is we're going to do a, something a little different. We are going to have a look at the A400 Extreme Unico. But what we're going to do, I did get an upgrade for this. I want an A400 Extreme Plus in the worst way. And I love the oversized, especially because of the oversized control. So what I do have... I'm going to give you the up close of the oversized controls of the A400 and they're a very standard. So what I was able to get is go down to my local gun store and I picked up an oversized uh, bolt release and an oversized charging handle. So the cost of that was pretty significant. It was $157.50. That was $150 bucks to upgrade. But I love the oversized controls, so why not? So what I'm going to do is I have to reconfigure my uh, camera and my lights and everything. So if you just hang on one second, I will... Uh, re reconfigure everything, stop the camera, and then we can get right to it. All right, so just give me a second. Thank you very much. All right, so first things first, we do have to take this apart. So with the A400, all we have to do is do a um, like a quarter turn with the four end cap, and it pops right off. Take the four end cover right off. Take the barrel off, bring the, we can't take the bolt out, so we have to take the charging handle off first. So you have to depress the bolt because it has to line up and pull this apart like a, it goes in like a key. So there is a perfect position where it comes out and sometimes it needs a little needs a little help there it is kind of tough to get your fingers on the conventional um, charging handle. That's why I love the oversized. That's why I wanted the oversized. Now, I know I'm going to get some feedback from some people that say, why didn't you just buy a A400 Extreme Plus? And I wish I had an answer for them. This was the first semi-automatic that I ever had. And I absolutely love it. So this is the piece we got to take out. And I may have to get some more light on it there is a pin that goes through here I may have to pop out all right so what we need to do is we need to take I took a little tiny nail uh, any kind of nail this is 
probably the smallest thing I had in here for a punch. And just under the bolt release, we just put the, there's a little roll pin in there. Okay, just like that. And this is how big it is. It isn't that big, so make sure you do not lose that. And then we're going to take a very, you can use a punch of some sort. I'm using an Allen key. And right here, there's another pin that comes all the way down. We'll find out where it goes in. And take a little bit of that tension off, and you can actually see it coming out right here. There we go. Now do not lose any of these. So there we have the factory release. And now we're going to take the replacement. You see the difference between the two. I do have a little handle that goes on top of that. We'll put that on once we're done. So we're going to very very delicately because everything is supposed to just fit just right in here. It looks like I'm having a little bit of a little bit of difficulty. I've never done this before. So if I'm having too many problems, I'll edit them out. But hopefully, I can find the right angle to get that up through there. need to find the perfect angle and I think I just found there we go so this piece it rocks back and forth it's spring-loaded so just so everybody knows that and it's got to slide right into place. There we go. Okay, so now we got to put, we're going to line that hole right there <coughs> on the release with this hole right here. And it's got to line up perfectly. We got to put this roll pin back in. And I think we just we just got her. And then we got to put this tiny little pin back in this side. And I do not have, I don't want to use a hammer. I want to use a very, very minor convincer. It's just a tiny little roll pin. I just need to get it. There we go. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> oh. Ok, 
Good gosh. Now I'm starting to wonder, maybe I don't have this in the perfect position. So let's take this roll pin back out. If this is something I'd done over and over and over again, this would be different. Let's put that roll pin back in. There. Right at the top. I think that's what I, I didn't do. This pin that goes in the bottom right through the entire um, bolt release has to go further up. And then this roll pin goes in to lock it in place. Let's use something a little bit bigger. There we go. There, let's put the handle on. Literally just slides right on and snaps into place. And then we put the trigger group back in. Start at the back and then kind of work it in and then roll it forward, roll it upward into the receiver. That pin, that roll pin is right here. I usually find if I hit the trigger or hit the action lock, it just drops right into place. And now we'll put the bolt back on. Now instead of putting this in, we're going to put the oversized control in. So this will be a little bit easier. There we go. Now it'll be easier, hopefully, for me to grab onto it to pull it out when I need to pull the action apart. I can really grip on it, but I'm still having a tough time. <laughs> There we go. You have to push the bolt, uh, the rotating bolt head back between three quarters, like almost three quarters, like not fully back. And it just holds it in there with pressure. There. And then let it go. And then, so then we put the barrel back on. Gonna slide in perfectly. Then you take the four end grip and then the four end cap back on, quarter turn. There you have it. You've got an upgrade. All right, so I hope you found this video informative in any way. If you're able to take something away from it, that's awesome. That's, that's my goal. So if you like the content of the video, click that like button. I really appreciate it. If you haven't yet, click the subscribe button. Go ahead and do so. As well as if you have any questions or comments, leave those below. 
that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. And always remember to keep both eyes on your target. Thank you.